Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Justin Nelson's Projects. Now, if you own wireless microphones, you might have been in this situation before, especially if you host karaoke or you just let performers use your equipment. They're doing their little thing and when they finish their song or some kind of political statement or whatever, you see them reach out like this and your heart starts to sink, especially as you see their hands start to open up because you know what they're about to do. They are about to do... The old mic drop right onto a hard surface with your plastic but very expensive microphone. Well, what do you do when that happens and it actually breaks? Well, we're going to go to Field Justin over here and he's going to show you how to fix it. I just finished my live stream today. I teased about the Shure SM58 wireless mic, specifically the SLX2. I've got several of these, but this one is broken, as you can see. We're missing half of the battery thing and we're missing the screw on bottom. So I was trying to find parts for it and good old Amazon to the rescue the entire body is available as a kit here so there's this is what it's supposed to look like your batteries go in here so now to figure out how to get all this stuff out this should just slide out I would imagine yeah that whole thing should slide out I'm looking at I'm hoping you're auto focusing here let's get that out ah it clips to that okay so we got our whole body, including the screws and the uh, cover for the uh, display and the buttons. So let's get that out. In order to take the old one apart without breaking anything, you have to use a spudger or something to get this cover off. There were two screws back here holding this in. I've already removed. So old parts, I'm going to toss over there so I don't mix them up. We want to take this. We're reusing this part. This is one of the more expensive parts here. Now. You'll notice here, I don't know how well the camera is going to focus, but there is a snap ring in there. Now, not everybody happens to have a pair of snap ring pliers lying around, but with snap ring pliers, these snap rings come out that just that easy. I think we've got everything cleared. All we've got to do is push this whole thing. There's our guts. Now, it came with a new this part, but honestly, I don't honestly see the reason to change that. So I'm going to go ahead and reuse this. And we're just going to insert it into the new body. Just like that. And once it's fully secured, we're going to take that snap ring. <laughs> of course, it's never going to be that easy. But we're going to take the snap ring, compress it. And notice it's warping that way. So I'm going to take it the other way so that the warp is more downward to get into that groove it needs to be into. Now you're still gonna have to finagle it just a little to make sure you're in the groove all the way around. Because you definitely wanna clear these threads where the head screws on. So, there we go. So we got both of these. And now you want these ends on that open area there, right about there is generally where I always every time I've opened one of these up the snap ring is aligned in that manner so there must be a reason this actually applies to a lot of different models of sure wireless microphones we are fully in the groove all the way around and just to make sure this will actually push down on it and lock it in so there's that part we're gonna need our battery retainer so first you get this end in over that spring, over the battery contact terminals of the original. I wonder if I should unscrew this a little bit, give it some room to flex upward. Ah, okay, it goes together just slightly differently than the original. But before we press this back piece down, we need to get that back cover behind that little notch right there. There we go. Then we can snap it all back into place so that that, there we go. That snaps together. And then the final straw that holds it all together, of course, will be these two number one Phillips screws. They're very small and very tricky to work with, but you'll see it pull that, hopefully, pull that tight. Now this is not an original Shure part. This is of course an aftermarket part. I will link to this if you have the SLX specifically. Uh, it is available on Amazon. 
but if you've got a different model just search for that model but start with my Amazon link down below in the description and from there search for your specific microphone model and just put replacement body kit so our final bit is gonna be this guy put your buttons in here first there's two little tabs there so you line those up and just for reference by the way I did already test this microphone using batteries and a piece of aluminum foil back here and it does in fact work but now we're gonna really test it now these are nickel metal hydride rechargeables I highly recommend these if you've got a wireless mic set up because you could recharge these things a million times so here is the moment of truth. Press and hold the mute slash power button. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. And if we look at the receiver here, we can see um, it says ready, but I'm not getting audio. Oh, you know why I'm not getting audio? I didn't screw that back the rest of the way down. Ha ha. So now we've got audio when I talk into this microphone. Very, very nice. Now on these, if you want to pair them up, there's an infrared receiver at the bottom. I'm going to peel off the protective blue. So here's what you do. Auto channel select. Hit that. It's going to pick the clearest available channel. But now, notice nothing is coming through when I talk on the mic. But we're going to hit sync. Maybe I need to be pointing at it when I press the button. There it goes. Okay. So be pointing the bottom of the mic at the receiver when you press sync and it automatically programs the channels you can do it with the buttons but this auto sync is just really really awesome so with all that the final step I don't know why the bottom of this is blue again it's an aftermarket now we've got a brand new looking microphone that is in fact a sure SM58 cardioid dynamic wireless microphone so there you have it folks quick and easy fix okay field justin was a little confused by the colored cap that came with the replacement body kit well i just realized that obviously they sell multicolored caps so that you can keep track of which mic is which on your mixer board within your rack or whatever and i guess they just threw a random color in because it didn't show this in the amazon listing which I will link below. That is specifically for the Shure SLX2 microphone that, well, you saw me repair there. I will also include a link to just a general search for Shure plastic body replacement kits. So if you've got a different microphone, please start with my link. I get a tiny little commission from Amazon and it doesn't cost you anything extra. It helps my channel out a little bit. So if you enjoyed this video, please check out one of my other videos. Give me a thumbs up. If you like videos like this, hit that subscribe below. And I hope to see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.